Time now for Sid 6 0. This is where I had 60 seconds to talk about sports and stuff. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. Yesterday, one of our You Sound Off questions here on BT, we asked you because it was St. Patrick's Day, how are you lucky? Well, if you're the Toronto Maple Leafs, right now you're lucky in the crease, believe it or not. Last night, 25 year old Eric Shelgren, in only his second career NHL start, and while wearing a St. Patrick's Day themed jersey, was once again fantastic as Toronto beat Carolina, one of the best teams in hockey, 3 2. Shelgren, in two starts this week, has made 71 saves, allowing only two goals. Now, Shelgren's 25 years of age. He's been somewhat of a journeyman for most of his career. So who knows if this is actually sustainable? But the Leafs, I'm guessing, don't care. It would be a lucky break if Toronto found a starting goalie a month and a half away from the postseason, leaving other divisional opponents green with envy. <laughs> Luke Fox, we're lucky to have him of Sportsnet. He follows the Leafs day in and day out. Luke, uh, great to see you. You were in the building last night. Is this a couple of good games from a kid getting a break here and he doesn't know what he's not supposed to know? Or are you seeing something different? Oh, he's playing excellent hockey, Sid. Now, is he the answer? We'll see. Like, let's just enjoy the week. He said it's <laughs> been one of the most eventful weeks of his life. And, you know, he's only 25 years old and he's standing on his head in the NHL out of nowhere. So I would guess so. Uh, but, you know, the Leafs needed this. They couldn't get a save uh, for basically two and a half months. And all of a sudden, this guy comes in, pitches a shutout, out duels uh, the Leafs' old goalie, Freddie Anderson, last night. And all of a sudden, the team's looking a lot more stable. And there's less pressure on Kyle Dubas to make some sort of panic trade in the net before Monday's trade deadline. So good on the guy. And for the fan base, just enjoy what you have right now. He's, he may not be the savior, but he's doing the job until Jack Campbell gets healthy again. Uh, Luke, you kind of hit on it. Less pressure on Kyle Dubas to make a move. A reminder, the trade deadline is coming up Monday in the National Hockey League at 3 p.m. Eastern. There is less, less pressure, but there is still some pressure. Um, how, much, how much of this performance by Shelgren, the kid, has changed the equation for Toronto and Dubas going into that day? Well, Kyle Dubas has always said that his number one priority is to get a defenseman, and I believe that that's still the case. Uh, I think maybe he'll explore the goalie market. We know he's called about Marc-Andre Fleury. But Marc-Andre Fleury has control in this situation. And so far, he hasn't decided, yes, I want to come to Toronto. He's also very expensive. Uh, so I think if the Leafs are going to spend a high pick or a high prospect, they're going to focus on uh, a defenseman. Um, you know, the name Mark Giordano has come up. He's a Toronto native. He's being held out in Seattle, uh, not playing because they don't want to risk him getting hurt. So he's going to move somewhere. And there's a chance he goes to the Leafs. If not, maybe they lower their sights and look at a guy like Jacob Middleton out of San Jose or maybe Justin Braun out of Philadelphia. But the Leafs will make some sort of move. Luke Fox does a terrific job covering the Leafs day in and day out for Sportsnet. This is going to be interesting between now and Monday, 3 p.m. Eastern. Enjoy it, Luke. We'll talk again soon. Thanks, brother. All right. Thanks for having me, Sid. Great stuff. Never dull moment in Leafland, as we know.